Hey guys! I cut my hair. Oh my god. If you follow me on Twitter, you already know that I did get my hair cut. I got like four or five inches off, which was definitely necessary at this point because my hair was disgusting at the ends. So I kind of hope you guys understand why I got it cut. I know a lot of people were giving me a lot of crap on Twitter about it, but I mean, it's my hair, so I had to get it cut. And yeah, it will grow back. So that's a good thing. But yeah, it's like really, really, really short, but you know what? It's whatever. Who doesn't, you know, love their hair, so you end up. Anyways, this is my February favorites, favorite, or er, favorites. <laughs> and this month went by way too fast. Um, I didn't get to post a lot of videos because I was really, really, six o'clock, according to my computer. I was really busy this month, and I'm sure you guys understand because I am in college, and I am like, Social. I hope to have more videos up in March and without further ado let's go ahead and get into my February 2014 so my first favorite I'm going to talk about is something that I don't know it's just like I haven't even got to wear it yet but I'm just like so excited to wear it and I've had it for like a few weeks and I'm like it's definitely a favorite I'm just so excited to wear them so I got these shorts from love culture a few weeks ago and I saw them originally and I was like, those are so not my style. They have like tassel-y fringiness on the bottom. I tried them on and I fell in love. And I was like, am I going to wear, like this isn't my style. But then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to buy them and then wear them on spring break. So that's what I did. And I think they're, well I haven't worn them on spring break because I haven't been on spring break yet. But I know that these bad boys are going to be my favorites. So I love them so much and like I said, they're from Love Culture. The next fashion thing I have to talk about are these cross bracelets and I don't know if you guys follow me from like my freshman year. These cross bracelets I was like seriously obsessed with my freshman year of college and she sells them in three different colors, the silver, the gold, and then the rose gold and I have a bunch of them but they were all like tarnished because they're like what $10 and so I got new ones and they're delightful and I wear them literally all the time again and I'm just like so infatuated with them. I just think they're so cool looking, like they're so sparkly and stuff. So I will be linking where you can get these in the down bar, it's during.com and you get them in a cute little case. The next fashion fav fashion, <laughs> this is like so not fashiony at all, but it's you wear it so it's like fashion. I made an order off of theluckynot.com and they sell the southern shirt company on there and I ordered a v-neck uh, spirit jersey kind of thing in a medium and I usually order mine in a small if you guys have seen my videos in the past I've talked about these shirts so much they're just so comfortable and just so easy to wear to class when you're just really lazy because honestly I wear leggings boots and an oversized shirt to class pretty much like every single day when it's freaking cold outside so I've been wearing this one a lot and I like about the medium is that it's so long and I'm pretty tall that it like covers my butt it's just something that I really enjoy. And I just am obsessed with this. This is so great. I love it, love it, love it. You saw this on my Instagram. You saw this on my Twitter. It's everywhere. I love it so much. So I will link where you can get this in the down bar as well. So that's all my fashion related things because guess what? Uh, it's too cold outside to wear anything cute. Then I just have my beauty things that to talk about. The first thing I'm going to talk about is my nail polish that I've been wearing a lot. And this is OPI Red Hot Airs Rock. And I've worn this seriously in previous favorites videos. I feel like I fall in love with it every time, like around this time of the year. Because it's, oh my god, my nose itches. Oh. But seriously, it's just like a really bright red color. My arm looks so big. Why does my arm look... My shoulder just looks really big. I don't... Like Seriously, so flattering on. Um, it's not too orange and it's not too, like, brown, I guess you would say. Um, it's just a perfect shade, um, perfect for the spring. So if you want a nice red nail polish, this is the one I would recommend. I don't know if they sell them at Ulta anymore, but you can definitely find it off eBay or Amazon or something like that. So I love this little guy so much. Then for blush, I've been using this Sigma blush that I got when I went to their release party for the Born to Be collection, I think is what it was. I think that's right. But this is called the Born to Powder Blush. And it is just like a mauve -y, um, darker than it like, 
I'm really stuck on this one, guys. It's definitely mauve, I guess you could say, but it's also, it's mauve. Let's see. And it's got some sparkle in it, but you can't really tell once you apply it to your cheeks. And so I wear this every single day, pretty much to school, and I've loved it, loved it, loved it, because it's nothing too bright, because as you guys know, I love my bright blush, but this one is just a really nice everyday color, and I couldn't believe I loved it as much as I did. Um, it's seriously amazing. So well done, Sigma. This stuff rocks. And then I have the Smokescreen palette, which came in that same collection, and it's just got a bunch of different, kind of like a smoky eye color palette and it's got a lot of browns in it which is what I really really like and I've been using mainly this color right here this one this one this one and that one a lot and I also use the black sometimes as liner but I really enjoyed this um, I don't know why but this like matte brown right here is seriously the most perfect color for an everyday like inner corner um, crease color and it's just like it just adds dimension to your face and I really like that so I use that color pretty much every single day and then if I'm going out I usually darken up my crease with one of the darker browns and yeah so this is really pretty it's going on spring break with me and then the next thing I have is also in my guy NARS guy Bordin um, palette and it is the highlighting powder um, right now I'm tan enough that the bronzer doesn't work for me anymore, but all oh, like the blushes are amazing. But seriously, this highlighter is so pretty and I love it. Um, I was watching the Kardashians the other day and I was like, holy cow, they use way too much highlighter. But then I was like, I kind of want to start using highlighter again too. I don't know. That was like a weird thing because I was like, okay, they wear too much makeup, but I'm going to wear too much makeup too. You know. But it's just like perfect I don't really know how else to describe it except perfect but I don't know this palette was really really useful and it's definitely something that is perfect for traveling so yeah. so that is pretty much my February favorites as far as beauty and fashion is concerned but I wanted obviously to go over my favorite songs <laughs> your girl is just falling more and more in love with country music every single day now that I am just so over the winter, it just reminds me of spring, so I listen to it all the time. So that's why there's a lot of country music. So the first song is the song by Randy Huser, Hauser, whatever, don't really care. And that is Good Night Kiss. Oh my god. Oh. Cutest song ever. Um, even if you're forever alone, it's such a really pretty song and really sweet. I don't really like the music video, but everything else about it is on freaking. And then the next song is Drunk Last Night by Eli Young Band. Oh. Once again, Eli Young Band is probably my favorite, like, band. Even though when I think of band, I think of, like, punk rock and stuff. But, you know, this is obviously not that. It's country. And it's just... I think it's the cutest song ever, just like the other song I just said was the cutest song ever. But you should definitely go check it out. Plus, Eli Young Band have a spot in my heart but yeah so that wraps up my February favorites I hope you all enjoyed this video and until next time I will talk to you all later thank you so much for watching bye